Welcome ladies and gentlemen and newcomers on the YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Flamingo. I'm doing this video in English because I think this uh, subject about movies could be interesting enough to be seen by mo ma many more people than uh, only uh, the ones that usually follow me on YouTube. The reason I'm doing this video is because over the past uh, few days I've, I've been thinking really really hard about a subject that is nudity in movies. I don't know why but sometimes it bothers me because I don't always feel that it is useful in a, in a movie because if it doesn't serve the story properly. Sometimes I, f I feel like nudity in movies feel gratuitous. You know, it feels like useless in terms of story and the way the story could go on even without those new scenes. For this video, I'm gonna take a few movies. Uh, for example, one of the first movie that can come into my mind when I'm thinking about useless nudity is Friday the 13th, 2009. The sex scene uh, between uh, Trent and... Uh, the, the, war, the, the girl um, played by uh, Juliana Gill, uh, I think I'm this, uh, this is her name. Uh, this sex scene is okay. okay. Uh, it served the story at some point because we know that they were upstairs having sex. But do we need to see that much, that long of the sex scene? The sex scene, that's scene is like two minutes long in the movie it could have been only 30 seconds we didn't need that much and the movie could still go on another thing in that movie will afford uh, doing the boat thing with uh, the uh, nolan character played by uh, ryan Hansen. that's what the that's the name i was looking for she is topless during that scene for no reason that doesn't serve the story and I'm okay with that just for that but the thing I'm not so okay with is that when she is killed by Jason the machete goes through her head and pull her into and her breast is like exposed for no reason on that kill scene it doesn't serve the story we could just I've seen the machete go through her head and we know she's dead. We don't need that extra boobs scene. Another movie, for example, the American Pie movies. We see a lot of nudity in those movies. But some, many of those are not necessary for the story. For example, one of scenes that does not have nudity in the first American Pie is when Finch is having sex with Stiffer's mom. We don't see that happen, but we know it's happening. That's okay. When Stiffer sees mom having sex with Finch, we see that, we know that happens, but we didn't need to see that and that's fine. We didn't get to see that. We just get to see Stiffer's reaction. But a nude scene in this movie that was kind of necessary is when Natasha, played by uh, Shannon Elizabeth, get almost naked in James' room, in his bedroom. This is kind of necessary, but kind of so of unnecessary in something, but it does help the story go forward. You know what I mean? Another movie, for example, that it's a nude scene that kind is unnecessary, but still make the story goes on uh, 300 rise of the on a, of an empire the i don't know if i'm saying the title correctly uh, there's a new uh, sex scene between eva green and the the new uh, male protagonist and that scene kind of make the movie go forward because yes they are having sex but it's kind of shown in my opinion that Eva Green's character is like, uh, somebody who uh, will go, uh, will do anything just to 
manipulate somebody and that's why a scene like that is kind of important and other stuff like that bothers me sometimes because yes it's fun to watch but if I want to watch a movie with a lot of sex I'll go watch fucking porn because we all know that if we go watch porn, we're not watching it for the story, we're watching it for sex. And a movie that is not porn, we're watching it for the story and not for the sex. Unless it serves the story. And that's my point. The last thing for this video is about um, equality in movies like... Uh, um, nudity in movies like uh, between men and women. I have one problem with this. Why is in most of the movie nudity is only women? I feel like it's not already it's been known for quite some time that women are not equally pay uh, are not as much paid as men in most of, of Hollywood production. It's something that may change, that maybe has start to change. But overall, not only women get paid a little bit less but they get to show more in when they have nude scene unless it's a body double and sometimes i feel like in sex scene like or nude scene it could be for men too because i feel like not only they are paid a little bit more for a movie that sometimes women have a more important role that the the male, the male uh, actor but also, they could go uh, not only show their their butt, but show the front too. If I was an actor in Hollywood and I had to do a nude scene for a movie, if it served the story first, I would do a, a full frontal thing. I don't bother with it. But it bothers me that many actresses do full frontal, but not so many actors does. One of the actors who did a full frontal scene in a movie that kind of served the story is Kevin Bacon in Wild Things or Sex Crime in f in Europe uh, it was a wild thing uh, wild things in North America um, it kind of served the story because the, his character is taking a shower at this time and everything and it was okay to do it so that's fine there are really few actors in my opinion that would be okay to do that. Fifth Shade of Grey, for, for example, the trilogy. Dakota Johnson does a lot of new scenes, but Jamie Dornan, we only see his ass. If your core star is doing nude scene with you and she show almost everything, you could do the same. That's something that bothers me. Equality. Not only I want actor and actresses to get paid equally but if they do uh, something that involves new scene they should show equally too that's my point I wanted to do this video because it's something that really bothers me sometimes when I'm watching a movie and it happens that the movie has new scenes like the American Pie movies or horror films in general because we all know that horror movies have sometimes new scenes some that doesn't serve the story that much anyway that's my opinion i wanted to share it with you so anyway that's it for this video uh, next video will be in french as usual the reason why i made this video in english is because i'm part of a group on facebook that is called color Flicks, and it's mostly uh, consisted of english speaking people and i want to share this video with them because i'm talking uh, with things that involve horror films and some that doesn't so that's pretty much why i did this video in english so thanks for your understanding and see you next time